All right, Captains, it is time for the Soviet Navy's premium tier seven destroyer, Leningrad. Well, I got this little gem in a super container last month. I'll still have a buyer's guide after the replay, so check in the description box below for the timestamps. But before that, let's see what this little beast can do. And well, as you've been seeing thus far, she does AP quite a nicely. That was the case, of course, before the Soviet destroyer split. And whilst I was doing my grind on the road to Hobarovsk, but the AP still seems to get it done versus those broadside cruisers. Hello, Atlanta. Thank you for the double sits. <laughs> and of course, she's getting it done at over 48.7 knots with both the Sierra Mike flag and the speed boost activated. And that, of course, allows you to spam your high explosive shells and maybe collect some citadels from carriers along the way, of course. <laughs> but that speed allows you to mosey around the map, PDQ, and set the world afire. Citadel's bells are ringing, and maybe even slide in a couple torpedoes to boot on top of it. Oh, that is right, Captains. That torpedo fire tandem is deadly in this Leningrad. Because those torpedoes are at least excellent, Captains. She has a slightly lower stock detection rating than her sister non premium tech tree ship, the Minsk. But she does come with eight kilometer torpedoes, which does give you around a 600 meter window in which you can invisifier your little fishies of fury into any and all comers, including those little high school girls who just love to give you the torpedoes. <laughs> and because also, Captain, your turrets take forever to turn, even with expert marksmen. So a little torpedoes like this Leningrad has, it makes for a wonderful platform from which you can unleash the fury on the enemy red fleet and collect maybe a devastating strike <laughs> while you try to collect a just a flesh wound which doesn't quite work out but yes captains those little fishies of fury fly fast and they do pack a nice little punch i mean four torpedoes into that biz right there not enough to put them down but little cruisers you do a little rope a dope into the smoke action it is definitely more than enough to put down the little clevelands you want to kill destroyer yet i killed you first And second. <laughs> and third for the buddy. Your buddy buddy is gone. And that eight kilometer range even affords you the chance. Yes, right. <laughs> to torpedo those little dirtbag DDs in their own smoke to collect some devastating strikes along the way. Good night, Kiev. I saw you hiding there, buddy. <laughs> but nothing beats, of course, rounding the islands and the big old uglies, the big old battleships in the game, and giving them the full spread, the full fury, the full might of this little destroyer. Yes, Captains, the super container guys have smiled up on me yet again and given me this little Leningrad, the tier seven ship. And it took a little while for me to kind of warm up to her and I'm still kind of on the fences how best to kit this little sucker out. So I definitely am gonna be putting out a round two, not sooner, but I will be getting into a round two adventure with this thing because she is quite adorable and quite fun to play with. Now the replay that I picked out for you pretty much showcases everything that this Leningrad has to offer. Except maybe some AA, I can't remember about that. And that's probably because the AA is quite forgettable. <laughs> I think two of your guns average three seconds on the DPSs. Oy, oy, oy. But in any case, this was a fun little game for me to play. So hopefully this will be a fun one and educational one for y'all to watch. All right, and this replay sees us, of course, mid-tier in a tier eight matchup on the map, Land of Fire. All right, for my captain skills real quick, preventative maintenance to keep my stuff working, expert marks to turn my turrets is a must, so too for last stand, BFT to increase the rate of fire of my main guns, survivability expert, because the ship does not take a hit all that well and needs more hit points, and of course I have AFT to boost out my maximum effective range. I am thinking about skipping that and going for adrenaline rush, then followed by superintendent and demolition expert. And that is the reasoning behind my round two foreshadowing. Ooh, no AFT? Now for my modules and upgrades, pretty standard, although I do run the special speed boost one for my third slot. 
premium consumables as always and for my flags definitely want to run the sierra mike flag for the speed boost i have the anti-debt one of course but i'm not running both of the yay fire flags <laughs> but you can of course you can All right, well, we had the South Easterly spawn, and I decided that I was going to try to do something crazy because I do have a Belfast in tow and a Yorkie, and that is contested sea cap that is already being contested by an enemy scumbag DD. Yes, the Kiev right there who's detecting me through the saddleback of that crappy little rock in the middle of the sea cap. Oh, what was me? This is dangerous. The Leningrad is definitely not a ship you really want to be contesting caps with. <laughs> But I'm gonna do it anyway. I said, what the hell not? I got a Belfast, let's do this thing. So I'm laying smoke, hopefully for my Yorkie to just remain quiet and be calm <laughs> and maybe use some Hydra to detect this guy. Well, I'm gonna sneak around the Western flank. I know some torpedoes can definitely be shooting out from that Kiev. But I'm gonna try launching my wall of skill into that smoke and see if maybe I can catch a Kiev acting a fool because he is still definitely in cap. So I have his last known pause on the mini map, and so I'm gonna try to line it. Oh, eye in the sky. Probably won't see those torpedoes, so. All right, this is a waggy, wild ass guess. Let's see if I can land me a Kiev. <laughs> and definitely, oh, okay, there's so, two more bad boys. Now, so all three DDs, we know where they're at. Two in the B cap and one in the C cap. And yeah, our Yorkie for some reason is still firing and going through the smoke. Uh, he's, oh my god, that's great. I was gonna say he's not gonna last long, but neither do the Kiev. Devastating strike. Eight, two torpedoes. Excellent. The captain's broadside in caps. You can think about it, but don't do it. And meanwhile, that little pop along the way was our Yorkie getting popped by the Kiev with just a flesh wound. That's oh, so a good job to the Kiev. No bueno for our little Yorkie though, <laughs> poor sucker. So I'm gonna remain neutral. I am not expecting to get any kind of torpedoes in from anybody and just kind of point my little face towards the exit of the sea cap. Always a good idea to have an escape route planned for your little DDs, especially for your little Soviet buggers. He should not be in here in the first place. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, he took down the Kiev. Oh, he's nice, 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 nice. Definitely a sigh of relief felt by my fleet because the Kiev is just one of those little da -da 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 -da, little annoying little scumbags. So to get him out of the game early is very nice. So I'm thinking about maybe trying to redeploy maybe into the B cap. Yeah, because we've got the little FUBU and uh, the other guy. Well, actually, we're, they're down both destroyers. They're down two destroyers now. So all there's left is one little FUBU. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So. I feel pretty confident about leaving this side. I'll leave with some parting shots. Oh, maybe into this Pensacola. Yeah, oh, definitely, definitely shots of the Pensacola. Charles, Bismarck, oh, 1881. That's a that's a number you're gonna see a lot in this thing. Oh, nice little binkages of the Pensacola. Yeah, I got a, I got a feeling that these guys should be able to hold on to the C cap. And so I'm gonna definitely re disengage and redeploy towards the B side. Cause look at those little red triangles of fury coming out of that FUBU. It looks like the FUBU was heading north-ish. As I make my way south of this turkey leg, I'm probably gonna be heading up the east. That's what I'm thinking about, heading up the east side of the B cap and maybe try to engage him there to keep him from maybe slipping through the gap into the C cap. Ganice now wants a smoke screen, but sorry mate, you're a battleship brother with torpedoes. You need to be getting stuck in and besides my smoke screen ain't gonna be working too well, especially with nobody for you to shoot at. So saving it, saving it, saving it, all right around this island and let's head to a north though there is some rounds coming in on the edinburgh that that was some he shells oh there's some other shells over there who we got okay battleship creeping on in there's another battleship in the a cap cruiser heading south one of our dds is going to engage him there fubu was last known pause was heading north so let's just keep moving on in here now I am worried there is an enemy Belfast and I think that's who that is on the northwest corner of the B cap. Yeah, they're firing out of that smoke right there, those HE shells. I think those are Belfast shells. So, okay, Fuso, Fuso, moving in. Now I wanna try to, oh, where's he going? Is he going in? I'm a little worried about the Belfast. He can out radar me. Uh, radar versus my torpedo range so i don't actually want to touch the cap zone to alert him of my presence oh 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 fubu torps fubu torps so he's still north of me here somewhere so i'm going to cut through the smoke and see if i can reach into that belfast smoke maybe catch a fuso to boot but that's right i don't want to touch that cap zone. oh i have to take that i'm just taking a fubu oh there he is there he is there he is oh he's so he's hurting so bad come on get the butt guns turned fire 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 300 points of damage come on come on come on come on 
Ooh, oh, oh, Edinburgh. Excelente, my brother, Edinburgh. Sweetness. Now, if I can just go dock again, and hopefully that Belfast isn't going to be start shooting at me now. Ah, uh, oh, that was his smoke puffs just dissipated. There he is, tally ho on the Belfast going backwards. So those torpedoes probably ain't gonna make it. I am gonna shoot on him anyway. You know, get some fires going, some damage control. He doesn't have the repair party, so whatever health he loses is gone forever. And yeah, I was trying to encourage. Oh, there's a fire, good, good. I was trying to encourage him to go forward so this Fuso can maybe take a torpedo into the wah, 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 boo. Oh, boo, boo. <laughs> Oh, the first set didn't have enough to make it, but the second set stuck for at least one of the Tukas for a little bit of a flooding action, which I think he definitely repairs. So 15 seconds should be up. I might be able to get a fire on this Fuso and get him in fuego. And yet. <laughs> <laughs> no fires on the Fuso. All right, well, so we know where the Belfast is, and I got to be wary about that. My Torps are about to get reloaded, so I'm thinking I might try to do that again. Swinging a little bit south of this B-Cat. Maybe he's going to be creeping forward and getting into the kill zone. But again, 8 kilometer torpedoes, 8.4-ish radar range for the Belfast. Plus, he has hydroacoustic search, so this is a dangerous game to be playing with the Belfast captains. We all know how nasty those things are. Against destroyers, and oh my goodness, there he is! He sees me! No! No, do not do this! Oh, I could probably swap up to the AP right here. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Ooh, get skinny! Take it on the face! Light him a fire, though. Excellent. And he disappears. Yep, here comes the radar. Crap. I got a risk showing up broadside to chuck in that smoke. He gotta know that Oh, torps are going to be coming out from my paws onto his, and so he's probably going to be backing up, and those are going to be missing. But I did see a Colorado. Oh, no, they, see, there's a Fuso. The other little BB is a Colorado, and he looked like he might be making a beeline for the Belfast smoke, so I might get two for the price of one. Oh, that could be good. All right, but I do get the Fuso creeping out. Unfortunately, I did shoot my torpedoes into the Belfast, so I don't have any to get this Fuso, and I am hydroacoustic searched by the Belfast. I need to scooch forward just a little bit fast, a little bit farther, and oh, come on, this Oh, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four torpedoes hit. Who the hell they hit? They didn't hit the Belfast, because yeah, that would have been pop unless a couple of them hit the Belfast. So I probably laid into the battleship a little bit, but there it goes, the burning, towering inferno of the Fuso, the apartment building. Look at that thing just going up, man. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> so I'm backing back up into my smoke. And oh, yeah, there's a Colorado. The Colorado probably ate all four of those torpedoes. Nice. Oh, excellent day. So I'm just going to lay on into this food. So I could be using AP. I did swap up to it. But I really was trying to get some fires because I'm right here. You know, what better way to get fires than having a guy right in front of you and I'm detected again. I backed up too far. Oh, Shiza. Oh, move forward. Move forward just a little bit before those Fuso butt guns train on me because you know he wants some of this. Uh, oh, and there's another fire. Burn, burn, baby, burn. I can't tell if that is on the apartment. Oh, there's another fire. There's two fires. And that's going to burn for a little bit more longer. Nice. Can I get another fire on his Tukas? That'd be so nice. He is definitely... Yo, I'm back around. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop back enough Fitch <laughs> damn it move forward move forward because I am definitely on the hit list for that Fuso man he's like dude, dude you must die <laughs> pay for the fires oh that you have caused oh so definitely getting on the gas my smoke is about to go out hit the speed boost let us turn and burn and run and hope and pray for a splish a splash excellent day all right he's he is going up in smoke let's see if I can get him on the nose that'd be nice I did find a little bit of an issue sometimes with the AP on this thing. It, it, it sometimes is beautiful and wants to do glorious things, and there's other times where it just is like, ha ha, I'm just going to bink off everything. And I have also come across a bit of an HE issue at sometimes. I know damage saturation is a thing, and so a uh, part on the ship that gets burned to a crisp it's going to be less likely to burn in the future. So like for this Fuso, perhaps, you know, he looks pretty charred right now. So the chances of lighting him a fire on the apartment complex may not be the greatest, but uh, it, it happens a lot. I had, a, I had one instance where I had a Turpitz for a solid minute where I was just oh, loading on him mercifully. And I didn't set a single fire on his little butt. And 
I, I, I did come across that. I, okay, they're pinging. Who are they pinging? They're pinging the B cap, and I'm thinking, oh man, I can't go be going back in there, man. There's a there's a freaking Belfast in there, boys. Don't you don't you see the map? I mean, the enemy fleet is finally taking over the C cap. Looks like I don't, I'm not sure what the the fight's been going on over there. And our southern fleet, for some reason, is is a southern fleet. <laughs> Good, get in the fight, boys. Yeah, so I write to my team, Belfast and B, if you didn't know. So that's, I already danced with the devil a few times right there and, and barely made it out alive. So I'm not so sure. I'm just going to see if I can keep on plugging on this Fuso and get another fire. What the heck, man? How long have I been shooting at this guy and no fires, captains? And that's, that's kind of what I've been talking about. There are going to be instances in which you are just unloading hundreds of rounds and there we go, finally. See, disparage RNGesus enough. Oh, and he puts it out immediately. Oh, you bugger. Oh, you bugger. You're going to find yourself having instances like that, Captains, with this Leningrad in which you're just, you can't seem to start a fire for some reason. It just does not happen. You got the magnifying glasses at you. You got the magnesium fire starter stick. You got it all. It just ain't working, but... Anyway, we're going to roll on into the ACAC because we are also down on points. We're up on ships. We've still got two little scumbags left. Hey, wait, that's me. I'm one of them. Oh, crap. <laughs> so we got one other scumbag left. So we'll definitely cap this out. Try to get some more fires on this Fuso if we can. Uh, you know, I could try to go dark and, and try to give him and slide in some torpedoes over there, but I do know the Belfast is still rocking around. And then, oh, good, there, goody, 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 there is another fire. And there's uh, only about a kilometer, less than a, oh, there's a two fires on the Fuso. That should be enough for good night, sadly. RNG be praised. But yes, that detection disparity with the Belfast, who only has a couple hundred meters. Or I only have a couple hundred meters of uh, detection on the Belfast, and there he is, Tally Ho Scumbag, number one. Oh, and there we go. Fuso is down for the arsonist. Burn a baby bird. So let's unload on Mr. Belfast. Uh, you could be, oh, there's a base capture, sweet. You could be unloading on some AP, but I, yeah, I was expecting some shimmy shaking from the Belfast. And again, wouldn't mind to, to light a couple of fires and call out his damage control because I know he's also going to be going into smoke. So if we can get him on fire and have him put it out to go back and smoke and hopefully relight him on fire, that is the real, that would be a real treat for this Belfast. But he is getting some major loving right now. And oh, oh, Binkage on the nose for 2,500 and eight points of damage. Very nice. All right, Edinburgh, Edinburgh. So Belfast has the radar and the hydro. So she is a dangerous bird hiding in her smoke especially coming into that but she doesn't have torpedoes so if i was a little bit bigger a little bit cr more crazy i might actually try to charge in there and slide in my pulps for a little bit of a kill but uh, i'm only on 8900 points of damn uh, health right now and that belfast could probably wreck me before i even get anywhere near unloading my torpedoes so we're just yeah, i am radared right now you little dirt bag so our team somehow was able to fend off the sea cap and we're looking pretty good for the victory. Only three ships left. So I'm just going to sneak on into the B cap to really put the herd on their point total and maybe swing around and do a little Zulu horns pincher maneuver and on this Belfast. Oh man, and I'm motoring now. Oh, I love this. This Leningrad, she is a fast little mamma jamma, but I do got a little bit of an issue with these gun turret placements. If you look on her butt, man, she has two AA mounts that together, together equal six points of damage per second. <laughs> <laughs> and they keep the last butt gun from firing straight out the tukis. So I don't know who made that man, but whoever it is, they definitely spent some time in the gulag because <laughs> that is just, that is unacceptable. All right, all right. Well, where is this Belfast? He, yeah, he's got to know that the heat is on. And so he is definitely running, trying to maybe take down one of the little dirt bags along with them so ap into the belfast for her. no citadels but come on come on oh, okay so he's turning swap back up to the he he may show oh, the incapacitated gun nice 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 he may show me a little bit more broadside as the low yang is definitely unloading some torpedoes into him good night belfast so long thank you for playing it oh there we go you just got you just got fetched <laughs> <laughs> oh, and unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention. Ran out of the cap zone. Dur, dur, dur. Yep, even even captains, potato captains, DD potato captains like myself, we got to be paying attention. Totally lost some cap points on that one. I should have just dropped anchor 
held up shop, farmed on that Belfast for just a little bit, and capped it out. But what are you going to do? Live and learn. So speaking of farming, Farmer Fetch is in, sowing some seeds of fire destruction, hopefully on this King George V, and give him a little taste of his own HE medicine. That'd be, that'd be nice. So let's see what kind of damage we can rot on this bad boy over here so he can't see me of course definitely want to just cap out this zone now because we are well on our way to victory he is burning already somebody got my fires boo 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 oh two fires already on that king george so i would imagine he's probably gonna try to put out his fires here pretty soon and he does have the super heal being the british battleships right so and his other buddies coming in way down in, from downtown the 10 line all right all right well just keep unloading on these guys keep hitting away for 628 points of damage per salvo come on come on fetch come on lennon we can do this man we can do this where's the stalinium oh there is the fire excellent that's what we're talking about oh 627 boo what happened to that one extra hit point damage huh <laughs> And base resets, base resets. Always like collecting those things. But yes, Captains, this Lenin grad, she's got a lot of nice little tools at her disposal that I think the majority of Captains... Oh, there's a high caliber. Excellent. Nice, nice, nice. More medals, por favor. And I think a lot of Captains are going to find quite tasty. Uh, I, I've, I've had a little bit of chewing problems with her, but she is quite palatable, quite enjoyable. And as you're seeing from this game, it is it is pretty fun to play. I had a pretty good time jamming her on stream with y'all and putting her through the sea trials. And can we get this kill? Can we get this kill? All right, he definitely put the fire out. So he's, yeah, look at all those binkages though, 11 breakages. So I don't know about IFHE on this thing. I'm not sure about the mathematician and if the IFHE would be doing that much more damage, you know, breaking into the superstructure and whatnot. And Bismarck, Bismarck is too close. Oh my goodness gracious. I might have to pop smoke and get skinny and wait for my face to get punched in through secondaries. Oh my goodness. He just took a nice hit. I was maybe thinking about use, using my, my torpedoes on this guy, but I don't think I'm going to make it through his little secondary shell of FUDDs. <laughs> so let's see, I'll launch some HE, probably swap up to the AP because he is showing a little bit of a chin there. And the AP is quite nice going into the superstructure of these battleships. So here we go. Fire, fire, fire before he dies. Can we get the kill though? Can we get the kill? 413, come on, get all the guns trained under his butt for the kill. And for the victory, as we sail away with over 154,000 points of damage off of seven torpedo strikes, four kills, nine fires. Look at those medals, though. The Austinist devastating strike on that beautiful Kia with the first blood and the high caliber. And captains, some base capture ribbons in the Soviet boat. That is a thing. It does happen. Oh, my goodness. So all that damage and base capture points puts us well and truly Tops of the chest with over 2,912 base experience points in the tier 8 match. Boja boy, captains! And the excitement definitely continues into the deal tier report. 300, almost 400 HE shell fires for just under 47,000 points of damage. The AP, not as good, but again, not a lot of options to use AP in that game necessarily. But look at those torpedoes. Oh my goodness, one of the best days probably I ever had with the torpedo game. 24 launch for seven landed and 60 and a half thousand points of damage. But look at the floods though. Six floods for only 401. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But nine fires for just under 40,000 points of damage off of fires. And of course, after taxes with the premium account and the premium ship in the tier eight match, almost a half a million credits take home pay. Even with the standard account, it'd be just shy of 300,000 credits. Not a bad day, captains. A pretty nice side to this premium ship for sure. All right, now for the dollars and cents. Should you buy the Leningrad and make her part of your fleet? If you're the ship collector, it goes without saying, yes, get this thing. <laughs> if you're on the budget of $50 to $60 per month, three months, six months, or a year, the Leningrad actually fits quite nicely within that budget. So that is also a yes. I, of course, would recommend that captains get themselves into the tier seven Minsk first as a little bit of a test drive, because if you find that Minsk to be all right, then you're definitely gonna love the Leningrad because she is better than the Minsk in pretty much all things. 
which leads me to the position and belief that this Leningrad could quite possibly be one of the better, higher, well, mid-higher tier trainers for destroyer captains and even cruiser captains because the gunplay is going to teach you the kiting maneuvers that you'll definitely use for your Soviet destroyers, but also for your higher tier cruisers. But also, as you saw in the highlight reels and in the game, the torpedo play. You do have that small window of Invisifier capability, and if you do go for Concealment Expert Captain, then that'll boost that window to over a kilometer, making this a quite a versatile little critter. And as she always carries that ungodly speed in reserve, she can definitely get you out of and or into trouble <laughs> faster than anybody else. So while the music that Leningrad and I are making isn't topping any of the charts, I still feel quite confident that the majority of captains will find a happy place for this Leningrad in their fleet. All right, captains, well, that was my review of the Soviet Navy's premium tier seven destroyer Leningrad. Her and I definitely had a little bit of a feeling out process to begin with, and I will most definitely be keep playing this thing and working towards making a round two adventure in which I can maybe showcase some of these other captain builds with her because I think this little Swiss army knife with all these tools at her disposal provide actually several different play styles, which is why I feel confident in recommending her to, to most captains out there. I think you're gonna find something in this ship that you could really enjoy. Her guns, her torpedoes, and of course, as always, her pure unadulterated speed. But as always, I recommend getting yourself into the tech tree variant, in this case, the tier seven Minsk before you pull the trigger on buying this little speed merchant. And I know that we got a lot of fanboy and girl Leningrad captains out there. So let me know in the comment section below what kind of captain skills y'all run in your Leningrad. Cause I am most definitely in the market for a little bit of a mix and match session to see which setup is the best for me and my needs. All right, captains. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about how to, and perhaps as always, how not to captain the Leningrad. But in any case, I thank you all for watching. And until next time, I will see you all in game or in stream. Have fun. Fair seas.